The Lagos State University of Basic Education Board, SUBEB, recently took it upon itself to organize a sensitization program for parents whose children and words are transiting from primary six to GSS one in public secondary schools, as well as head teachers of private schools in the state for the year 2015 placement test. Speaking at the event, the executive chairman of SUBEB, Mrs. Golamo Daudu, stressed the importance of providing accurate information and encouraging the candidates to register by themselves in order to capture their faces during the examinations. It is important for us to realize as parents that education of our children is compulsory. It is important and essential that you allow them, those in primary six, who wish whether those children or yourself want your children to come to the Lagos State Public Secondary Schools to make sure that they register and participate in that placement place. The way it is structured is such that you are supposed to register your child with a, an approved private school. Every child will have a paper that has been prepared for him or her with a, the picture of that child already on that paper. So if a child or some children that do not have such never be allowed to sit for that exam. The director, Lagos State Examinations Board, Mr. Femi Hazen, took his time to explain to the participants the steps necessary for registration. Your child will register with the school, pay to school, school now, pay to Lagos State Government account, bring the receipt of payment to Lagos State Exam Board, no cash. At Exam Board, schools get a customized CD. It's a CD that is designed for each of the schools that will take part in that exam. One, there are computer-based application in it with which you register your puppy. So the way where you put the bound data of the candidates and then the cast, that is the continuous assessment of the child. You form primary one, primary two, primary three, primary four, and primary six. That is the, the second term. You know, the is, is exam. The chairman of the board, Mrs. Bola Ondaudu, stated that a placement test will help improve the standard of education, hence it has come to stay. Unlike what it used to be in years past when puppies are just moved from one class to the other and in particular even from primary six to years one, the results and the performances have been very poor. But to the glory of God, within the last three years or four now, almost four, that we have introduced. This has reflected, and we hope is also going to reflect, in years to come by the fact, by the time those who are already in JS1 now move to JS3, not to talk of when they now become, go for their WAEC exams. So we are confident that a lot of improvement has been achieved with the placement test. Some other stakeholders shared their views. It's dynamic because he said we are able to you know, work on it to make sure that our children are performing up to task. I thank God for the director of uh, uh, Zambod. He's working and he's restricting a lot of things to make sure that all things work together for good. But the principals also in different uh, areas should please assist the parents and tell them that if they want their children to be admitted into primary, I mean GSS1, they should go through the normal uh, procedure so that they go and write that exam and they must get to primary six because we are looking at maturity at this level. The placement test, which is scheduled for July 11, 2015, will be conducted by the Lagos State Examinations Board.
This is to inform the general public, particularly parents and guardians of primary six pupils, that the placement test into GSS1 classes into the public junior secondary schools for the 2015-2016 academic session has been scheduled for Saturday, the 11th of July, 2015, by 8 a.m. at the various designated centers across the state. Only primary six pupils in the public and approved private primary schools in Lagos State are eligible to sit for the placement test. It is mandatory that parents and guardians of primary six pupils in approved private schools ensure that their children and wards register through their respective schools. With the Lagos State Examinations Board, if Paja Road at Gege, parents and guardians should also note that only candidates will obtain 50% cumulative pass mark and 50% in English language and mathematics will be placed into GSS1. Any pupil that fails to sit for the test will not be admitted into GSS1 in any of the state public junior secondary schools. Announcer Mrs. Bola Okadija Daudu, the Executive Chairman, State University of Basic Education Board. The Lagos State Education District 5 has over the years proven that it is a force to be reckoned with in the state's education sector. Little wonder it is fondly referred to as the Victory District. Recently, the management of Education District 5 recorded another achievement, this time around, in the area of ensuring that members of the public have access to quality service rendered by the district through the commissioning of a front desk office at the district's headquarters. The objective of establishing service charter in all Lagos MDs are summarily to transform the public service to a result-oriented organization that delivers on government social contracts with the people, to improve public confidence in service offered by the government. Lagos State government has a vision of creating Lagos State as Africa's modern mega city, a global economic and financial hub that is secure, functional and Productive. Mrs. Adenike Ajayi, who represented the Director General Office of Transformation, in her goodwill message made it known that the commissioning of the front desk office by the Education District 5 was a birth of a new child in the transformation agenda of the Lagos State Service Charter. This is the birth of a new child in the transformation agenda of the Lagos Station, especially in the Service Charter Initiative. You can have a front office without being chartered, but you cannot be chartered without a front office. You know, commissioning of a front office means you are very ready, more than ready to be chartered. Because your service charter, the front office is the enabler for you to be able to run your service charter document properly. High point of the day was the commissioning of the front desk office. On behalf of the entire legal state, what first? We want to Commission this front office of education district 5 to the glory of God, Amen. to the service of humanity, Amen. and particularly to the service of the children and the generations to come. Amen. So we commission that to the glory of God. Amen. Amen.
with education report on TV, the Tutor General Permanent Secretary, Education District 5, Mrs. Mary E.G., highlighted some of the advantages of having the front desk office, while the representative of the Director General Office of Transformation, Mrs. Adeni Ajayi, spoke extensively on the service charter, which was inaugurated in 2012. We want to render cultural services. We want to achieve government's aims and objectives within a window. And each MDA, we have a window. We have our own window. Our window opens 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., except on public holidays. But because of the uniqueness of our MDA being the education sector, you can come and meet us working on Saturdays on Sundays. We do internal external exams for students. We take them on excursions. We do curriculum uh, services, programs, sports, cultural mm -hmm. education is all encompassing mm -hmm. and in Lagos say we do total education there's like a five fulcrum on which the service charter is hinged on and it's number one is the service delivery aspect of it which stipulates the kind of services an agency gives it also stipulates the standard which way they will deliver the service it also tells us about the pledges the promises that they will make in delivering those services then the second fulcrum is about um, professionalism. The professionalism we all know is talking about how professional you carry out your job. It's not a personal thing, it is a professional thing. So you need to carry out your services and deliver the services as professionally as you can. Then we go into the timeliness. We all know time is very important. So we'll also be letting them know if something is going to happen, we'll let them know at what time, how soon, how late. And if it's not happening, we must be courteous enough to call them. The event was spiced up with cultural representations from students of various schools in the district. Commissioning of the front desk office at the headquarters of Education District 5 has no doubt brought a new dawn in efficient service delivery and with the window open daily from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., members of the public can now experience quality service at its best.